Hello and welcome to my AMD FX6300 for Shearer Piledriver Black Edition Processor Review. My name is Double Tap, so let's get started and have a look around the box. These CPUs are still in use with the AM3 Plus socket, and as you can see, it's the AMFX Processor Black Edition. 3.5 GHz, 14 MB total cache. 6 core. The side, well, you can tell that AMD ain't been changing the boxes much because this is talking about an 8 core processor when this one is actually a 6 core. But it does want you to combine the processor with the AMD Radeon graphics and AMD 9 series chipsets. Got a bit of information about what's actually in here on the back in different languages and there it is itself so let's open the box and see what we have inside right now we've got the box open we can see that we have the manual and warranty here which shows you a bit of the installation process it's in different languages so it should be quite handy if you're not very used to installing this type of hardware. Here is the stock cooler fan that comes with the CPU. It's basic design on the thing. You must have seen these a hundred times before. It's made of aluminium as you can see. Thermal paste, yep that's already on it. There's your clip for the motherboard that attaches it and it has a four pin socket there for the power as this is the black edition it can be overclocked straight out of the box so you might be tempted to put a larger aftermarket cooler fan on it other than this one but bear in mind doing this will invalidate your CPU warranty so that's a good thing to keep in mind in case you run into any problems and have to send this back to AMD. As you can see, this is in its protective case. We've got a little sticker here, AMD FX Unlocked. CPU is obviously in its protective case. And as I said before, the AM3 socket is still in use, as well as the same chipset. So let's have a look at the specifications of this CPU. AMD FS6300 is a 6 core Vashira that has a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a turbo clock of 4.1 GHz. It has a TDP of 95 watts, and that's because it uses the same old 32 nanometer architecture. 6 megabytes of level 2 as well as 8 megabytes of level 3 cache is offered and it supports dual channel DDR3 1866 memory nativity in CPU-Z. The processor will be picked up straight away and the voltage is low to save energy. The CPU will bring down the core speed automatically on idle instead of constantly running at 3.5 GHz the FX version is a black edition, so it has unlocked multiplier and can be overclocked very easily. So the AMD 6300 delivers amazing performance at a decent price. I got this one for around £71, but with all the sales and competition that's out there constantly going on, hopefully you'll be able to get this amazing CPU a bit cheaper. In terms of performance, it can reach... The, it can't reach the same as the Intel i4 processors, but this FX CPU offers a lot more performance than the biggest Intel Core i3 processors, and at the same time it still is a lot cheaper. Overall the rendering performance is pretty good, and gaming it keeps up with its competition, and offers all round same performance. Again, it's cheaper than the Intel i3 and beats every i3 processor that's out there. 
the AMD Vashira CPU definitely runs cooler than the Intel CPUs and that's why it's so easy to overclock this CPU as it's fully unlocked and is made easy and fun as well. An idle it will run at 29% more power than the i5 and overclocked it will use around 27% more power. But keep in mind this performance lies between the Intel i3 and i5. But overall that isn't that bad. If you like AMD and are not worried about the power consumption then this is for you. For the price AMD have improved this in a big way over the last generation CPUs. Pros for the CPU are very good pricing to performance ratio. The CPU is very stable, good temperatures, it supports high frequency memory, unlocked multiplier so makes overclocking very easy. It still uses the AM3 Plus socket and 990FX chipset so if you have an older last generation motherboard the CPU will work with it with an updated BIOS of course. The only thing I can find, you know, that's uh, on a bit of a downside to this is the power consumption, as it is a bit high. But for the price, it's an amazing CPU that should be rated at around 9 out of 10. So that's it for the AMD FX6300 unboxing and review of the CPU. As of course, it's the black edition, so it's a good processor. You'll see this in action in my upcoming PC build on Double Tap. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and subscribe for more. Bye for now.